Hello everyone, I'm Franken and welcome to another episode of A Few Words where at the end of each month I describe each game that I've been playing or well, not games that I've been playing, mostly games that I've beaten. So welcome and before we start just wanna give a quick update to you guys. Um I had to move. <laughs> I don't I don't remember I don't think I don't remember if I mentioned in the previous episode but I had to move. I'm currently in a shared apartment, so there could be instances where there could be background sound. I'll try to minimize that as much as possible, but yeah, your boy is in another place now. I bet, I hope, this could lead to more content upload. I, I hope I could do that, but yeah, with that out of the way. That was awkward, but yeah, with that out of the way, let us jump into the games that I have been playing in, in the month of August. The first game of the month that I've beaten is Resident Evil 3 Remake. Well, not beaten, more like replayed like 6 or 7 times because my god, the RE Engine Resident Evil games, that formula they nailed down with 7. It is amazing how speed runnable those games are, especially when you come up with different strategies on how to complete stuff the quicker. Yeah. Um, to be fair, I understand some of people's, most of the hardcore fans' complaints about the game not adhering to the original design or in actuality just modernizing that formula that the original RE3 had, had it going for it. But as a video game, that game is perfect, like for for speed running. It's it's in that same level of Mirror's Edge, where the more you optimize your run, the perfect, um, the more perfect and the more satisfaction you get out of it. For example, an RPG run in Resident Evil Three is really really satisfying compared to just well you know this but going actually a speed run with only a pistol sounds fun as well. But that's if you're super super hardcore into those types of stuff but like it meant like <laughs> invincibility <laughs> regen no, no actually not invincibility that that coin that regenerates your health plus the rpg plus um what was that perfect dodge thing that is always a perfect dodge. i don't know if that's a mod or um or something that the game has like those three are like a deadly combination but fun you, you get to customize how you want to play it. Um, in terms of the story, I would... The story... I mean, should I even talk much about the story, given there is a replay? I don't know, I think the remake is kind of weaker. I bet if... Compared to RE2, which they, I think, I feel reimagined the story as well, RE3 is a bit weaker in that it's just there to accommodate the gameplay. It doesn't feel like the story is. It doesn't feel like um like a GL origin story, given that that's her first game. It feels like more of a setup to accommodate the gameplay. But either way, <laughs> I'm just I'm just talking about this game for the gameplay and the gameplay alone. And yeah, the gameplay is amazing. The next game that I've beaten was Kane and Lynch 2 Dog Days from IO Interactive, the Hitman developer. I've already made a video about this game, so I'm not going to reiterate what I said there, so I'm just gonna cut that down, cut that video down into bullet points and give them here. The found footage presentation was really good, that whole aesthetic of, of movies, of like the found footage horror movies is really cool the whole camera wobbly and the heavy usage of filters is really as nause as nauseating as it is it's it's a really good it is implemented really well the music is moody and uh, and unrelenting it is fantastic it goes really well with the presentation with the scenarios the game takes place it it really it really immerses you in the the type of world and story they're trying to tell quote unquote trying um Gameplay and level design is pretty mediocre. I didn't like it. Um, it's basic. It does what it needs to do, but it's it, it can get bad at some points. But yeah, it's the weakest part of the game. It works, but still, it's it's pretty weak. 
and the story itself it's really bad i uh, that's the um after thinking about it some more that the story is really bad they have that whole violence just for aesthetics it doesn't even delve that deeper into trying to like try to to tell a message it's just a mess it's just a mess if you if you're gonna play the game just play it for the aesthetics um the gameplay is solid enough to get you through it to the end ignore the story and i and i feel you you're going to enjoy that more than i did well i did enjoy the game it's just that story is really bad but presentation is top notch and gameplay is mediocre yeah <laughs> i said enough i said what i need to say Okay, the third game that I've beaten this month is Assassin's Creed Odyssey. So, before I start, let me just give you a disclaimer that I am not a big Assassin's Creed fan and I know the amount of hate? I don't know, I don't know if hate is the right word. The amount of pushback this the, the new trilogy often gets with the with more hardcore fans. So, let me just give my perspective. I am not a hardcore Assassin's Creed fan. I've only played I've never played <laughs> I never played the original games. Uh well, I've played some of them, but I've never beaten it. I like I'm currently playing the first Assassin's Creed game. I've never touched the AC the Ezio trilogy. I've played a bit of 3, more of the um, liberation instead of the main game. Um, I never. I, I've touched Black Flag, but never beaten it. I've never touched Rogue, and oh, never. I will. And in the new ones, I've beaten Unity, Syndicate, Origins, and Odyssey. I'll probably never touch Valhalla because of how long that game is. That that life scares me. But with that context out of the way, let me just say this. I really, I, I, I really love Odyssey. I'll, I'm once again in that AC mood to play the entire Assassin's Creed series, and I'm not gonna lie, I really, I really enjoyed Odyssey, especially after Origins. I, I played Odyssey right after Origins, and I didn't like Origins that much. My biggest problem with Origins is is trying to beat the things, it's not committing to one of them, and it feels like the game has an identity crisis on what it wants to be, but hey people still love it so i don't i don't hate it i just didn't like it that much but origins origins is like they picked they picked what odyssey where origins uh, left off they were like you know what we're going to commit to this rpg thing and look at it now it is it is really really good and there's a track in the background i'm pretty sure the mic is picking it up but anyway going back into ac odyssey the story is really great um i love cassandra she was uh Cassa because i think she's the canonical character in the in the in ac odyssey besides alexia's and like she has like that perfect amount of demeanor and class to carry the way she carries out her dialogue her mannerisms during combat um just her character as a whole she's a really really cool character and i really enjoyed my my what 80 90 hours <laughs> that's a lot of hours 80 90 hours spending with her um gameplay gameplay is really good i was not expecting it because as as I once said, my problem with Origins is is trying to be two things at the same time and not commit to one thing, and it kind of has this big identity crisis. Origins Odyssey on the other this naming I swear, Odyssey on the other hand, it embraces being more RPG like they just went full on RPG with the series starting with odyssey and to its benefit it really it really carries the the whole experience like for example a combat feels more engaging this time with the abilities that like those like circles that stand in the corner of the screen like the abilities for the for combat for assassin and um and the bow and arrow they work really well especially when you combine them because there's a there's a weird amount there's a weird amount of depth that the those abilities bring like for example imagine you hit a guy with a du with a dual blades then you dodge then you activate that ability of the of you know those multiple arrows that come out of the sky i can remember that ability like that's a cool combo 
you can do yeah also that's another thing i forgot you can do combos in this of course they're, they're not as elaborate as a devil may cry game but they still count as combos you can combine um like heavy and light attacks for like maximum efficiency and speed and stuff like that and that is really key no, for me i really really enjoy that um what else the music the music is another great element from the chants in the boats to the music that plays during the open world traverse and uh, the world traversal and missions it's a plus of course uh, the big problem that i uh, usually have with these types of scores there is that they're not that memorable for me i prefer more frenetic or calming tracks like jazz um, hip-hop rock stuff stuff more active and when it comes to orchestral i usually sleep off but this actually managed to grab my attention and there and i've been humming some of the chants for a few a few random times which 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 says something um what else i actually don't discuss this often but the character models are pretty good i think the game came out in 2017 and i was expecting something bad i don't know why but that's that's one of the things that i couldn't get my mind off the character models are really really good of course they're not um up to you know games that, that, that have came out um since the beginning of the ps5 generation the ps5 series generation but they hold up really well and yeah that's that's a weird thing to compliment i guess but there it is um i actually liked the game so much that i ended up getting the platinum which is the only assassin's creed game i have a platinum for we'll see how it goes for the other ac games I've, i tried to platinum unity but those co-op trophies kind of threw me off but yeah it is it is it is a really fun game other than that i really feel that players who are not big fans of you know players who are not big fans of this new trilogy of course won't enjoy this so if you go with this like okay the best way to put this is if you're a newcomer to the series and if you play the newer assassin's creed games i bet you're going to enjoy them more than anything but if you're an hardcore fan who's been used to that formula of the first and of the first few assassin's creeds that came out then yeah unless you come in open-minded i'm pretty much i'm more than certain you're not gonna love this but yeah like i mentioned i was like i mentioned at the beginning when it when it comes to assassin's creed valhalla i was kind of pondering i was enjoying the game so much that i was pondering if i was playing valhalla until i came to that review of um skill up where he describes his experience with ac valhalla and yeah like one of my biggest pet peeves in combat games is when you prioritize animation instead of input it's just it just puts a bad a bad taste in my mouth i i hate that priority i know it's it's just for the you know uh, the like movie presentation i don't know they're trying to go with but yeah a good example of a game that struggled with that is max Payne 3 max Payne 3 had that awkwardness of they're trying to have these animations play out during this frenetic situation it's like imagine you're shoot dodging the enemy is right behind you and you should and you should dodge like in the front you try to do like a quick spin in the back then you have to the, the movement of your aim to that enemy is quick but then you still have to wait um max's body weight and movement to kind of like finish the animation so you can finally get the guy it's yeah animation led combat is it's not really good especially in action games i'm not a fan of them but hey that's a i guess that was a good rant <laughs> And it's been eight minutes since I've been talking, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me just shut up and jump to the to the next game. And the final game that I've beaten this month, yes, only four games this month is Ring Fit Adventure. Um, once again, context. I actually purchased this game back in 2020. Who you know, with the pandemic and everything locked down, the gyms were closed and we couldn't go out. So I thought, eh, you know what? This could be a good excuse to 
do some cardio while at home, I guess. And I was actually enjoying it a lot, but for some reason I dropped it. Maybe it was because when the lockdowns got lifted and you could go to the gyms again, I haven't used it that much. But April this month, 2022, I picked up the game again. I like I just noticed in my luggage that I still had the um, like the like that physical disc where you insert your joy con in for exercise and I noticed oh ring fit. I haven't played this in a long time so let me just undust the my copy, put it on the switch and you know keep playing. And you know what? I'm glad I did because the game has a really interesting approach interesting yeah a really interesting approach to its gameplay so ring fit adventure you have you have what they call this a fitness plan which is it's it's actually an rpg it's the it's actually hidden as an rpg and you spend most of your time trying to like take this evil dragon who's trying to um like be the best of all like you know the story is very simple nothing to take it seriously but the thing that surprised me the most is how like the game is built is built imagine uh, like imagine an endless runner on your phone but instead of the character running automatically you have to run it that counts as the cardio you're doing and then you have besides the running you have other elements like jumping um destroying boxes for getting a few items dodging obstacles and of course fighting enemies and that's where I got surprised the most, um, which fighting the enemies enemies is through exercises. The game takes this turn-based approach where you can do like an attack to one enemy or multiple enemies with physical exercises. So imagine push-ups or or squats or jumping jacks, like you know, the stuff that ex exercises in. Uh, at the gist of it, like exercises that you can use to beat enemies, which it's not that weird, but the way they've built it is so interesting that I can't stop thinking about it. And it's really, it's really well designed. The difficulty and everything is like it's really well balanced and designed. My my only big pet peeve with that game is the economy, where you don't make that much money through. Um, through your sections through like through the mini games that you play or during random play sessions and it can feel heartbreaking to spend it on the upgrades clothes or consumables which are crazy expensive imagine imagine you have 3000 coins after finishing like 13 stages you have the drinks which cost like 50 50 a pop you have other ingredients that cost 10 20 then you have the upgrades that it, they, they they don't they don't all cost the same some prices differ than others some will cost like 150k no uh, 15k 15k okay a thousand and five hundred <laughs> i don't know how to say it or like 600 800 you know stuff like that and the game the yeah the economy isn't isn't really well balanced when you're trying to also upgrade your equipment which can be crazy expensive but I, I bet on lower difficulties it might be more more balanced I don't know the game had a difficult the game instead of having a easy normal and hard um, like predefined settings it has a scale of 1 to 30 and I was playing most of my I started my playthrough in 20 and by the end I was like 28 so I guess that's where most of my progression was starting to feel like a slog because of the economy and I wasn't able to upgrade my equipment and the last boss fight itself was really hard but yeah whatever I, I still enjoyed the, the game itself another funny thing is that I literally don't remember any sounds of the game because I would usually pick up my 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 earphones and listening to my type of music while exercising so I spent most of my playthrough not hearing not hearing any sound of the game so as soon as I beat the game I was, I was like kind of curious like weird I haven't listened to any sounds of this game so let me just you know, go to YouTube and see a few videos and Jesus that ring is annoying I don't know if I would have survived the entire game just listening to that ring 
so I guess I did a good choice just listening to music. I'll probably I'll probably hear some of the game's music online when I have the time because some of that music is really catchy, but the ring itself is really annoying. He talks so much. I hate that. But yeah, the art style the art style is really charming. Um, you know, it does it knows what it wants to be and it's really consistent from start to finish. That and um, levels, the way they reuse assets in a good way, not in a bad way. Because it makes sense for the type of game it is. Um, other than that, great game. I strongly recommend it. Go play it. If you have a Switch and you have the time to afford it, then yeah, I strongly, strongly suggest you should play it. It's fun. And ladies and gentlemen, I guess that will do it. Thank you for watching this another episode of A Few Words, where once again I describe each game that I've been beaten this month. I need to come up with a better way of finishing this video because it's getting awkward, <laughs> just speaking my mind. But, um, like you know the drill. Um, like the video if you liked it, share it with friends, comment, subscribe, leave a like, you know, so that the YouTube algorithm can like favor favor me in the long run um more and more shenanigans follow me on twitter i guess plus more and more shenanigans and i'll see you next video which should be about bloodborne i hope oh i just spoiled something we'll see if i <laughs> we'll see if i go through with the idea bye